We are now studying Maaser Sheni, Perek Dalid Mishnah Zion, the seventh Mishnah in the fourth chapter of Maaser Sheni. Okay, we've been talking about the idea of transferring the value of the money of Maaser Sheni onto money, or the other way around, redeeming Maaser Sheni by using Maaser Sheni. So now we're going to talk about, uh, about the idea of Pidyon Maaser Sheni. What do I have to say in order to redeem? Maaser Sheni, and to designate money on Maaser Sheni. Says the Mishnah. Hapodem Maaser Sheni, Velo Karashem. So I designate money to redeem Maaser Sheni, but I don't say the following. Ze Pidyon Maaser Sheni. This is Maaser Sheni. This is the Bartender says. Lo Amar Ze Pidyon Maaser Sheni. But I designate. I have it in mind. Okay, I separated the money. Okay, so Rabbi Yossi Omer Dayo. Dayo means it is enough. Rabbi Yossi says it's enough to separate the money for Maaser Sheni. I don't have to say it, actually. Okay? I don't have to actually say, this is Maaser Sheni. As long as I separate the money, I have in the mind, you know, I have sitting in front of me, I think this is five pence, I don't know, from the British crown. Okay? And I, I don't have to actually say, this is Maaser Sheni. If I designate and have in mind, it's enough. Rabbi Yehuda, or Rabbi Yehuda says, Sarich Lefarbesh. Rabbi Yehuda says, you have to actually say, it's Maaser Sheni. And if you don't say, Zepidion Maaser, then it's not. Okay? It's the, then the fruit is still Kadosh. And the money is still not. So because we're now, once we're talking about the idea of having to say something explicitly or not having to say something explicitly, so the mission now goes on a little bit of a tangent. Okay, if you're talking to a woman about matters of getting divorced, so you're talking to your wife and you say, you know, really have to get divorced, etc., etc., etc. Or you talk to a young woman and you've been talking about getting married the whole time, and then you say, here, take this. Here's the money, take it. It's a Shavar Pruta. You gave her her get or her kiddushin. You didn't say what it is. So the question is, if you don't say or you are beholden to me, are you married? Rabbi Yossi says, that's enough. Okay, you were talking about getting married and then you said, here, take this phone, I want you to have it. You know, maybe it's not a matana. You, have to, you just give her the phone. I guess you don't say it as a gift. You give it to her. Okay, and she knows you're talking about getting married, or you give her her get. You don't say here's her get, but she knows what it is. What you're talking about, Dayo, it's enough. Rabbi Yudah Omer, Tzarich Lefaresh. Rabbi Yudah says you must say Hareat Megureshet, Hareat Mekudeshet. Interesting, be passing like Rabbi Yossi. You don't have to actually say it if it's not, if it's clear from the context. That's what you mean, then everybody knows what you mean. Although I'm not aware of any time when a per- oh, somebody gave a woman a, a, a wedding ring and didn't say Hareat Megudeshet. Hopefully the rabbi who's beside the Kedisha knows what he's doing. All right, we'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, oh, that's next Mishnah. Email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate the learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.